Over the past couple of weeks, I've been working hard to increase my pet battle collection. I'm up to 752 unique pets, with over 75 of them being rare level 25s. Um, in search of getting all the pets, I have been seeing ones that kind of have slipped through the cracks over the last several years. Uh, most of them are actually pretty easy to obtain uh, that come from a series of quest lines. Some of them can take upwards of an hour, others can take several depending on your RNG. Today I'm going to talk about the mechanical chicken. It's a very straightforward quest line that involves four different zones and not being hated by Booty Bay. Why do I mention reputation with Booty Bay? Because on Gomorath, my warrior, I got the Blood Sail Admiral title years and years ago, and it's kind of haunted me ever since. I did the full quest line and was not able to turn it in because of my hated status. Now, to go from hated to neutral with Booty Bay, it does take 36,000 reputation. So if you're thinking about getting this pet, make sure you are not on a character that you ever used to kill people in Gadget and or Booty Bay. And that's what Gomi used to do. I know, I'm a bad person. That being said, let's talk about the Mechanical Chicken. The Mechanical Chicken shares the same character model as the Robo Chick. It only comes in the Power Speed breed. Now in Wildhead, there are multiple threads about this pet saying all kinds of different things. One thread said that you didn't even need to kill mobs for the distress beacon. That if you were higher than level 85, you could go straight to that location where the, ch where the chickens are and pick up the quest. I tested this on my priest. He was a character that I boosted to 85 at the beginning of Pandaria, and I had not completed any portion of these quests. Uh, I used a macro provided by Mr. Sushi. Uh, when, you use a, when you use the macro, you'll see a line of dialogue like this. The link for the macro is in the description of the video. I went to each chicken location and was not able to pick up the quest. In order to do the quest, I had to get the distract beacons to drop from killing mobs in that zone. The first time I did the quest on Gomorath, my warrior, it didn't take me very long in any of the zones to get the beacons to drop. It probably took me less than 10 minutes in each of the zones, um, which are uh, Tanaris or Tanaris, Feralis, and the Hinterlands. But when I... Uh, went to turn it into Booty Bay, I wasn't able to because of my hated status, like I said before. So I had to redo the entire quest line on my mage, and RNG was not with me. It took me almost 30 minutes in Tanneris and the Hinterlands to get the beacons to drop. Uh, but both times that I did the quest, uh, the beacon did drop off the yetis surrounding the chicken in the Hinterlands in less than 10 mobs. So that took me probably a minute or so. The best order to clear the zones in my opinion is to go to Tanneris, uh getting there with the portal to the caverns of time uh go clear out Zulfarok, get the quest finish it then head up to Feralis, and then go over to the hinterlands uh the best mobs to kill uh per zone are as follows in Tanneris, go and clear out Zulfarok. like i said that instance it really shouldn't take long when i did it on my warrior it took me 10 mobs on my mage it took me a full clear in the Hinterlands, I killed oozes around the Skull Rock and trolls around uh, Jintha Allure. And on my Warrior, it took just a couple minutes. On my Mage, it took almost 40. So, just RNG has got to be on your side. And then in Feralis, like I said, those Yetis, they drop really, really high rate. Uh, the location is at 55, 58. I'll have links, uh, or not links. I'll have the locations all listed in uh, the description as well. Once you've completed the escort quest in each zone, I recommend waiting to turn in the final step until you've done all three. Head down to Booty Bay, claim your mechanical chicken. If luck's on your side, this should not take you more than half an hour. Good luck and good hunting. A uh, small side note, you might have noticed from the footage that when I landed uh, where the chicken's at in the hinterlands, it did take it probably about 30 seconds to phase in. So... If it's having trouble spawning, just give it a minute. It'll 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 show up there for you.